Hey guys, I'm Britton Lynn and welcome to the third episode of Inside the Huddle. Today you get a chance to meet Alabama's junior center, William Vallejos, from Birmingham, Alabama. Back in his high school days, Vallejos earned the Alabama Class 6A All-State selection and was named a Super All-State member by the Birmingham News. Vallejos was even rated as the number nine center nationally by Rivals.com. Now's your chance to get to know the man in charge of the offensive line, William Vallejos. Most people don't think about the guys who play in the trenches, but Coach Nick Saban says junior center William Vallejos is the model warrior. His knowledge, experience, strength, uh, power, uh, all those areas has, have just gotten a little bit better um, because of the kind of competitor he is. You talk about a guy that's got pride in performance now and uh, tries to do everything that he does the right way. I mean, when you know, we talked about talent, motivation, and attitude, there's no question about this guy's motivation and attitude about how he goes about what he does and the result that he gets. Leo, he's a nice going guy, man. He loves to block and he get all his calls right and he's really not too much he mess up on. And I love running behind him. <laughs> Ran behind him last year and I can't wait to get back out there Saturday and run behind him. I mean, he's accountable. He, he gonna do his job every time and he gonna do it the best. I mean, you don't have to worry about Vallejos. I mean, you know he there, but you don't know he there because, I mean, he's silent, but you know he gonna do his job. When you look at the 6'1", 289-pound center, the last thing you would think to call him would be nachos. But his teammates aren't referring to the food. A lot of them said his nickname comes from the monk turned wrestler in the movie Nacho Libre while others said it's the spelling. Vallejos is a beast, man. I call him Nacho because he's like Nacho Libre. Trent's nickname is T-Pain. Y'all go ahead and put that out there because that's what he looks like. If I look like Nacho Libre to him. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, you know, my name kind of looks like that, the way it's spelled. Uh, if you get rid of the VL and I guess you put an N in there, that's what, that's what it would be. So there's, I'd say probably, you know, 30%, 40% of the people around here, you know, call me that. You know, when they're not mad at me, when they're mad at me, they call me, you know, Vallejos. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Nat. Because he's like a little stomp. So. But he's a great guy, though. Even though Vallejos isn't spotlighted during games, to the skilled players, he's the critical piece to the offensive puzzle. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Burton Lynn. If you guys see Notch or Nachos around campus, make sure to give him a shout out. And by the time this last episode rolls around, you should definitely know the whole team's nicknames. In next week's episode, we're going to learn more about the face behind the number three jersey. That's right, running back Trent Richardson. So you better be back. If you guys have any comments or player suggestions, make sure to leave them on my website at www.brittonlynn.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Britton Lynn.